What's up guys? Um, today I want to talk about displacement. Recently I've posted my last product visualization job and I received many questions related to displacement. So I decided to create a tutorial about it. So basically I'm going to explain what is displacement, what's the difference between normal map, bump map and displacement, what are the common mistakes in creating and using displacement, and finally how to set up displacement in Blender and how to mix two displacement maps. So with that, let's get it started. Let me explain the normal map and bump map first. These two maps are used to fake the lighting of bumps and dents on a mesh. Basically, you can add details to your mesh without having more polygons. But again, it's fake. And so if you look at your object from a certain angle, you will see it's completely flat. So in this particular job, I used normal map for box details, but I didn't use for uh, bottle details because um, it looks fake. In my experience, normal and bump map, um, they are useful for fine details, but not for big deformity in a model. And between normal map and bump map, um, again, I really can't say which one is better because both of them are replicating the same thing. So in this example, the one on the left is normal map and the one on the right is bump map and both can do the job just as a rule of thumb if your bump pattern is a grayscale image use bump map otherwise i personally think normal map is more convenient in opposed to normal map bump map um, displacement gives your model actual depth but it needs polygons so if the details are very small then you have to add lots of polygons to see them accurate um, back to my job, the bottle has two different type of details, the stripes and the small noises on the glass. I actually use the displacement for stripes and normal map for small noises. So in, in case you have two type of details in one model, use a combination. So basically normal map for fine details and let the displacement map to, uh, to do the heavy lifting. Okay, time to get more practical and jump into Blender. Uh, keep in mind, uh, you can't use any image as a displacement map, which is really not ideal, and later I'll show you why. But for now, we use bump map as a displacement texture. So let's duplicate this object and, and go to Shading tab. I think we have to correct the view. Um, okay, and add the displacement node here. Displacement should be connected to your material output node and your image should be connected to height of displacement. We can't see any results for two reasons. First, your material currently doesn't support the displacement, which is an easy fix. So uh, change the render engine to cycle. In material, um, from setting, change the displacement object from bump to displacement and bump. Now in viewport, you must go to render preview and here's the result. Well, the object pushed back and is still flat. Um, well, the object pushed back because your image is black and white to displacement, black is pushed back, white is uh, pushed up, and 0 0.5 gray means completely flat. And that is the importance of using a correct image as a displacement. Okay, since we already started with this image, I changed the mid-level from 0 0.5 to 0, which means black is flat, and any value beyond that will be pushed back. Well, our object is still flat, and the reason is that we do not have enough polygons. Remember earlier I told you the difference between displacement and normal map is that you need to add more polygons when you're using displacement. So yeah, let's, uh, let's do that. And here you go, it is working. This is a displacement that I created for the cap. 
in case you are curious to know how I did it, I use pen to create the two shape of stripes according to my references. And then um, just like this, and I converted them to a smart object. So if you check any of these layers, you will see they are a smart object. And then I gave it a gradient color. Um, and finally, um, you can easily duplicate them and change the size and uh, and then the rest is easy. So here the most important thing is to ensure your file is either 16-bit or 32-bit. Uh, that's because 8-bit only allow you to have 256 combination per 3 RGB channel, which is not enough for displacement map, especially when you are using gradient. So in case your render has unexpected noisy details, uh, check the image bit depth. Another point to mention is your mid-level. Um, that's the area of your model that should have no change and remain flat. Make sure the color value in that area is always 0 0.5 for each channel. Um, I think with taking these measurements, uh, you will get a good result. The last point here is when you have two displacement maps, so how to mix them. That is very easy. Uh, you need a mix RGB node here. And then add your second displacement map. And simply mix it with the first one. And connect the mix RGB to displacement node. All right, um, thanks for watching and hope this video was useful to you and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.